With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A block of mass m is released from a fixed smooth wedge in figure. Initial point is marked as a, bottom of wedge is marked as b, and at a point c, the block stops because the straight part of flow is rough. So. We have to find the velocity of the block at the midpoint between B to C. Okay. So at point B, at point B, this the entire potential energy that the that the block had at point A will be converted into its kinetic energy. So P E at A should be equal to K E at B, which means M G H should be equal to 1 by 2 M. Squared. Now, we don't have an expression for the coefficient of friction here, so we need to find that out. So, now since the block stops after traveling a distance of x naught, so what that means is in traveling this distance x naught, this entire kinetic energy that the block had, let's mark it as equation number. So this entire kinetic energy that the block had at B was spent in doing work against friction, against the frictional force. So let's find the, so for, for finding out the work done due to the friction, we need frictional force time the dis, times the displacement that is x naught and kinetic energy 1 by 2 mv squared. Let's mark it as equation number 2. Now the block, at point B, the block looks something like this. There's its mass and there will, due to the motion, there will be a frictional force. Now this frictional force will be equal to mu times mg. So we can put that in the equation number 2. So 1 by 2 mv square is equal to mu times mg x naught. And from equation 1, we can put 1 by 2 mv square is equal to mgh. So from equation 1, mgh is equal to mu mg x. mg and mg get cancelled. So mu is equal to h by x naught. Now, at the midpoint, at the midpoint, the displacement at the midpoint, the displacement d will be equal to x naught by 2. The frictional force is a constant, so it would be mu times mg. And we have to find out the velocity. So to find out the velocity, what I will do is I will try to find the kinetic energy at point at the midpoint so let's mark it as kinetic energy final it should be equal to kinetic energy that was initial that means the kinetic energy at the point b minus that the work that was done against the friction in reaching that point in reaching that midpoint so initial kinetic energy can be written as mg h from equation 1 minus the work done against friction so the force of friction mu mg times the displacement x naught by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 mv squared so m gets cancelled so v square by 2 is equal to g h minus let's put the value of mu which is h by x naught h by x naught times g times x naught by 2 so x naught and x naught gets cancelled. So v square by 2 is equal to gh minus gh by 2. So v square by 2 is equal to gh by 2. 2 and 2 get cancelled. So v is equal to 2 gh. So the 
correct answer is root gh. Root gh is the velocity of the block at the limit. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.